Hello and welcome to Plant Crafted Pantry. Today we are making a DIY soothing body lotion with lots of beneficial ingredients for the skin. I'm starting by adding 90 grams of refined shea butter to a glass measuring cup and adding 37 and a half grams of my Sika and Calendula infused apricot oil. I have a short showing how to make this infused oil, which I will link below. Adding 37 and a half grams of MCT oil and 37 and a half grams of emulsifying wax. I will link my blog post with the full recipe and additional information down below. We'll set that measuring cup in a pan of water over medium heat and allow it to melt, stirring occasionally. Meanwhile, in another glass measuring cup, I am measuring out 525 grams of boiled water. You could also use distilled water. And then in a small bowl, I am measuring out seven and a half grams of colloidal oatmeal and 0.75 grams of hyaluronic acid powder. Adding a little bit of the water and whisking to dissolve. And then adding that back into the larger amount of water, again, mixing to combine. Then to that, I am adding 22 and a half grams of glycerin and seven and a half grams of liquid AHAs. Whisking to combine and then using the immersion blender as well, just to make sure everything is fully combined and dissolved. Now back to our oil mixture, which has fully melted. So we'll remove it from the heat and slowly pour it into our water mixture while stirring. Then we'll use the immersion blender to start emulsifying. We'll keep using the immersion blender as the mixture cools to make sure that it is fully emulsified. Then after it has cooled so it's warm but not hot, we're adding seven and a half grams of Optifen Plus, which is a preservative, as well as seven and a half grams of vitamin E oil, which is an antioxidant and will keep the oils from going rancid. Using the immersion blender to mix that in well, and then we'll pour this into our storage containers. I'm using glass containers here, but you could also wash and reuse containers from store-bought lotions. And then here's the consistency once it has fully cooled. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you try it out and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye.